you know, one of the things that I've always said is that you need to change people's hearts before you can change their minds. And this is something that we strongly believe at Discourse, right? Because here's the thing. The people that want the change will change. I've changed numerous times in my life. I think I was telling you folks in the green room, and this may discredit me as some people listen to this podcast, but I, I was a criminal. And I, when I, you know, earlier in life, uh, before I was 18, I was banned from the entire region I now live in. And that's, you would have to do something fairly serious to be banned from an entire region. But at the end of the day, I realized at that point, I no longer wanted to be that person. I wanted to be someone else. My parents didn't sacrifice the things they did to come to this country for me to end up a failure, either dead or in jail. My high school vice principal told me I would never amount to anything in life. He was a doctor and he said, I'm a doctor. I'm telling you this. You'll never amount to anything in life. And this was the support system that was provided to me as I was going through the education system. And one of the reasons why I left at 18 to start my first business and I've been at business ownership and entrepreneurialism for the last 20 years. And I think that it was a very difficult journey for me because I didn't have people that looked like me that could share information. Even the people that did look like me that were successful wouldn't give me that information. It was like, I look like you. Can we not work together? But yet they felt like I might be taking something away from them if they were to give me something that they had learned. And I think if we look at how we can move forward in this work, it's really about collaboration over competition. While capitalism says that we should compete as DNI practitioners or companies, if we have any hopes of moving this needle forward, it needs to be a united front.